Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see the title of QCSMA, a QLearn based CSMA algorithm for achieving a maximum throughput and low delay in wireless sensor networks. Let me have a take a look of the abstract of this project. Nowadays, CSMA type random access algorithm can achieve a maximum possible throughput in ad hoc networks as well as collision time CSMA protocol where a collision free network in a ad hoc network. For this, we propose a discrete time version of a CSMA algorithm which allows the multiple link to update their update the status in a single time slot. This algorithm is a collision free transmission scheduling process which explicitly takes a collision into account during the control phase of the protocol. The Q CSMA has a timestamp to transfer a packet from the source to the destination. Here, the timestamp plays a major role. If TS exists in a packet, then uh, in a, during the transmission, the packet will be resented again. But in our proposed algorithm, it's waits for its move to the standoff times and wait for the standoff time until the packet will be delivered. Now we see the data flow of the project. Here the input file is text file. The text file be is generated into the packets by using a bandwidth. The bandwidth is defined by user itself. Then each and every packet is sent to the receiver. The after before that the user coding is nothing to be defined the queue size. The queue size will be mentioned by user itself at dynamically. The network monitoring is used to monitor whether the ACK is received within the timestamp or not. If the process is within uh, within the if the ACK is re received within the timestamp means then proceed to the next packet. If it not means then add that packet to the queue and transmission mode is transform. Here the transmission mode is transform from the standoff time to backoff time. Here the backoff time is nothing but additional time for transmit waiting for, for waiting the ACK. Here the ACK is received within the backoff time means then resend the next packet. If it not means this is the same packet for the completion of the packets. Now we are going to see the demo of the project. The main file of the project is transfer file .java. Right click it and click run file. This is our main window. For first we have to choose the input. For that we have to click the packet gen button and click the browse button to choosing the input file. The input file must be a txt file. Here the txt file is sam.txt click it and click open this is our path here we are going to enter the bandwidth for transmission the bandwidth for transmission is 70 and one way delay for the communication here the only delay is nothing but the packet is sent from the sender to the receiver here I am going to enter the delay as 55 and number of users going to share the bandwidth the number of users is 3 and click the calculate button here the calculate button shows the whole delay Hold delay is nothing but a packet sent from the sender to the receiver and a ACK sent from the receiver to the sender. This is called as hold delay. That is also called as a timeout window. Then for the number of users, the bandwidth will be separated from the three users. Then click the get details. This is our file size. This is our number of packet to be transferred. The packet size will be same as the bandwidth for one single user. Then click the button packet pulling first we have to choose the Q size first here the Q size is a 60 kbps then click ok here we are going to make a simple transaction the simple transaction is used for whether the collision is occurred or not a sample drive message will be shown the sample transaction is done then this is our this is our down collide on collision is occurred or not this shows if, if it is shows the round collide means then no collision is occurred there. If it shows somewhere somewhere there means then there will be collision occurred. Then go to the first file and click the start transfer button. Here this is the packet remaining to send because the no receiver is not at starter. That's why the remaining button is 53 and delay for the that means timeout window for the one packet and packet transmission time current packet transmission time then go to NetBeans and click the receiver.java file and run it okay then we are going to 
click the packet detail buttons here the number of packets is received first then click the receive packets here the each and every packets will be transmitted one by one if any packets beyond the limit means then that will be added to the combo box delay packets button then this was the current packet transmission and this is the delay for the current packet then click the 17 button this is the delay that means the time order is 110 and the packet transmission time is 132 here the 17th packet is sent but the ACK is not yet received then the 18th packet is sent within the ACK is received from the 17th then after that 18th packet is sent the ACK is for 17 is received and as well as at the same time no delay is occurred for the 18th packet then the 18th packet will ACK will be received at the same time this is here that monitoring will be checked whether the packet will be received with the timestamp or not if it exit means then automatically change to the back of mode and wait for the back of mode time for the ACK this is our main process for that we have to generate two graphs for one is for the time comparison graph for based on the throughput and the delay and another one is the energy efficiency graph click the calculate value this is our existing value and this is our proposed value then click the show graph this is our traditional method and this is our proposed method here the traditional and the proposed method is used for packets we have to send if the packet size is changes means then sorry number of packets will be changes means then the traditional and proposed value will be ch gets out changed automatically then for the energy efficiency we are using a tmac protocol for showing the energy efficiency then click the show graph and click the show button this is our energy efficiency pro for the transmission here the one source the data sending and zero source the waiting for delay here there is no delay for this is our sample delay for each and every packets and this was the long zero because the 17th packet is received wait for a long time that's why the packet will be showing that like that then we have to then we have to tell the energy consumption of the process click the energy consumption button and before transaction what are the energy and after transaction what was the energy there is no energy loss in the process this is our whole process. Thank you.